Ah, the Lydian chord. A beautifully complex chord that can add depth and a bit of mystery into your songs. But what goes into making this chord and how do we use it? Let's take a look at some video game music and find out. The Lydian chord gets its name from the Lydian mode, a specific type of major scale with a raised fourth degree. It's used to refer to multiple chords, such as the major 7 sharp 11, the 6 sharp 11, but uh, this week we're going to take a look at a specific variant called the add 9 sharp 11. Uh, Sega composer Jun Sonoy, famous for writing much of the Sonic Adventure series soundtracks, uses uh, add 9 sharp 11 chords quite often in his work. Um, but before we get into that, let's take a look at the structure of this chord and see how it's built. The add 9 sharp 11 chord really isn't that complicated when you uh, see what makes it up. Um, we're going to start with a major chord. So here we have a, just a C major chord here. We have um, the root, third, and fifth, C, E, and G. And if you count up the... Uh, just as the name of the chord indicates, we're going to add the ninth and sharp 11th to this chord. Um, so first, let's just count up the C major scale. We have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. That's eight notes. And our ninth note would be D. So to add the ninth, we're just going to add D to this chord. So now we've gone from this uh, straight C major chord to the much warmer sounding C add nine. But we can't stop there. Um, now we're going to add the sharp 11th, which uh, this is the note that gives the Lydian chord its distinctive, tense, yet mysterious sound, uh, thanks to the dissonance between the root of the chord and the sharp 11th. Um, so we're just counting up from the 9th, um, if D is our 9th, then E is our 10th, and F is our 11th. However, F is only the natural 11th. Um, we need to sharpen this, so rather than just putting a standard F natural here, we're going to bring this up a semitone. So we have F sharp, the uh, sharp 11th of the scale. So now we have a full C add 9 sharp 11 chord. It has this really nice sort of spacey, uh, mysterious sound to it. Let me get a arpeggio here so you can hear what it, this sounds like. This sounds pretty great on its own, but how are we going to use this in a song? Uh, well, let's take a look at some of June Sonoy's music from the Sonic series and uh, see how he uses it. First, let's uh, take a look at Believe in Myself, which is Tails' theme from Sonic Adventure. Uh, during the guitar solo, we've got a, a, a C add 9 sharp 11 chord right in the middle of it. Um, it sounds like this, right, this section right here. There's that chord right in the middle there. I'll slow this down so you can hear it a little bit better. Right there, that sound. Right there, as the chord hits, we've got the uh, the rhythm guitar playing the C chord, and we have um, the harmony playing the ninth, which is D, and we have the uh, lead guitar playing F sharp, the uh, sharp eleventh. I always really liked this part of the guitar solo, but I never understood why until I. Uh, learned about this chord and, uh, and how much I liked it. Here's another example. This is uh, Ungravitify from the Sonic Riders Zero Gravity soundtrack. Uh, this was not written by June. It was written by uh, Kenichi Takoi, although June arranged this version and he uh, wrote his own guitar solo for it, so it s still counts as, uh, as his work. Um, this is pretty much the exact same situation as in Believe in Myself, uh, just in a different key. Instead of uh, G major, we're in the key of uh, D minor. And over here, we've got a B flat chord 
um, with the harmony guitar playing the ninth, which is C, and the uh, lead guitar playing the sharp eleventh, which is E. It sounds like this. A part right in the middle there. that wonderfully complex sound. I love it so much. Let's take a look at another example from Sonic 06. Uh, this is His World, the uh, main theme of Sonic. Uh, this one was written by Tomoya Otani, although the Crush 40 cover is very, very similar. I want to explain a key difference that utilizes the sharp 11th of this chord. Um, let's take a look at the original version of this chorus right here. Um, uh, this, the original version of this song is in the key of F sharp, and the Crush 40 version is in G. And just for the purposes of comparison, I've shifted the original version up by a semitone. Um, so here... We've got, uh, starting, the chorus starts on a C major chord, and uh, the vocals, we've got um, D being held out, so we've got a C add 9 chord here. And after uh, the, the, the vocals come in, we've got the backing vocals um, repeating uh, the lyrics there on G, um, which is the fifth of the chord. And so it's still a C add 9 chord. But what June did with the Crush 40 version, what June did was he changed the harmony for this. Um, let's take a listen. Here we've got a, uh, a C major chord on the, at the start of the chorus, um, and just like in the original version, Johnny's singing a D over, over that chord. But instead of G being used in the harmony, We've got F sharp, which you can see right here. We've got F sharp in the, in the upper harmony here, which is the sharp 11th of this chord. So we've got a C add 9 sharp 11. It just has a bit of a, a more complex sound than the uh, original version of the song. So far, all these songs have one thing in common, the placement of the Lydian chord within the key. Um, it's always shown up on the 4th degree of a major key or the 6th de degree of a minor key. Uh, this is the only place in a major or minor key where this chord fits within the scale and doesn't use any out-of-key notes, so it's a natural place to make use of this chord. Um, however, that's not the only option. In theory, you could use this chord anywhere as long as it fits the sound you're going for, uh, but one other place that I've heard this chord used most often is on the flat 7th degree of a major key, or the, the flat 2 of a, of a minor key. An example of this can be found in Night of the Wind, the uh, vocal theme for Sonic and the Black Knight, uh, composed by June Sonoy. Uh, here in the chorus, we've got this C minor 9, uh, we're, we're in the key of G minor, and we've got this C minor 9 leading down to uh, an A flat add 9 sharp 11. Uh, and here we have the... Uh, the, the guitar arpeggiating this A flat add 9 chord while Johnny sings the, uh, the sharp 11th, which is D, over this chord. That sound right there. It has this really nice, uh, complex sound for it. Um, this and of course, be in, being in the key of G minor, this A flat chord is not in the key. If we've got accidentals here. Um, this chord is being used as a substitution for either the two chord or the uh, four chord, um, and either either of those chords would have would have worked just fine in this context. Uh, but the A flat chord adds a little bit of a surprise. It kind of catches your ear and makes you listen to it more. So the uh, add 9 sharp 11 chord is a really nice chord you can use to uh, add some interest to your progressions. Um, June's used it really effectively in his own music. It's one of my favorite chords. Uh, it sounds great on the 4th and flat 7th degrees of a major key, uh, corresponding to the 6th and flat 2nd degrees of a minor key. 
Um, there's definitely other places you can use this one. Uh, I've heard it on the flat six of a major key before, uh, but just remember to use your ears and uh, whatever sounds best, go with that. This week's album of the week is Tales of Knighthood, Sonic and the Black Knight original soundtrack. Uh, this album is filled with all sorts of wonderful rock and orchestral and medieval inspired tunes by uh, Jun Sonoy, Yutaka Minobe, uh, Howard Drossen, and several other uh, veteran Sega composers. Um, while the game itself may not have been well received, the uh, soundtrack is one of my favorites in the entire Sonic series, so definitely go check that out. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for a new video every Saturday, and uh, check out the website at ongakuconcept.com for sheet music and exclusive content. Uh, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, uh, you can tweet me at ongakuconcept or just ask me on the uh, website. And I'll see you guys next week.